The early 1950s were known as the golden years of television. Videotape was not in use yet, and mothers would schedule their children's nap times around Howdy Doody, Kukla Fran and Ollie, and Mickey Mouse. Kids growing up in the Washington area during this time had an extra treat. Well, I had a dog, and the dog pleased me. Fed my dog under yonder tree, and the dog went roof, roof, and the cat went meow, and the bird went... In 1951, Lafayette Parker Temple, Jr., a former Census Bureau worker, went on the air at WTOP. Was once in the saddle, I used to go dashing. This self-taught guitarist from Baltimore had a flair for singing folk ballads, so the station dressed him up like a cowboy, threw in a horse named Piccolo, a dog named Lady, an audience full of kids, and came up with the Pick Temple Show. I take my hand and off camera, I point the lens, I said, can you see your family and friends in here? They're all watching you. And the child would look into that lens, and that lens would be right here, and they, they would get a close-up of that child peering deep into that lens. I'd say, can you see them? Can you see the folks at home? And they'd say, uh-huh. Hi, good morning. And does the name Harold McPherson Shaw, Jr. ring a bell? In 1957, he filled in as Pick's summer replacement. And later that year, WTOP gave him his own show, Ranger Hal. Happy Saturday morning, if I can get a word in edgewise here. And happy Saturday morning to you, too. A ranger was, stood for everything good. For outdoors, for health, for, you know, for, for love for the forests, preserve our natural resources. Hal Shaw has the distinction of being the first television announcer in the state of Maine. When he moved to Washington in 1957, he worked as a staff announcer at WTOP-TV. That was when he met Pick. Pick was very good with children. He had a, he treated them with dignity. He told me time and again, never insult a child. I don't want you ever to see a, you insult a child on the air. Or period. Eventually, Pick Show was sponsored by Giant Foods. So in addition to doing the program, he made appearances at grocery store openings. Parents and children would show up by the thousands and go trooping through the store. They had free refreshments and things. And they set me up in a little sort of a stand, almost like one of these Santa Claus things or something where the children would come through in a line and I had little things like a little a wallet, a plastic wallet or something, a Pick Temple wallet to give them or a, a little Pick Temple comic book or something. Something to give each child. And as each child came through, I shook hands with that child. I'll never forget the first time a little child came up to me and looked at me in the eye and he said, how did you get out from behind my television set? Unlike Pick, Hal produced his own show, which included cartoons, music, and puppets. Hal also did the voices for the various characters, Dr. Fox, Eager Beaver, and of course, good old Oswald. Oswald was the first animal because Oswald, we had Oswald cartoons we found in the library at T.O.P. and I did his voice falsetto. Now, you know, Hi, Ranger. How are you this morning? Good to see you. Uh, looks like Oswald's nose is a little loose here. Ranger Hal would also talk to children about such subjects as the dangers of talking to strangers. In fact, one happy parent sent a letter to the newspaper recalling an incident involving her three-year-old. When the police arrived, Mary Beth described the man and his car. The officer asked her why she ran away and didn't get in the car. She said, Ranger Hal, say me no. And I, that was, you know, that's what makes the whole program worthwhile. As television changed, so did the needs of advertisers and the audience. Pick and Hal each stayed on the air for 13 years, which is considered quite successful in the television industry. Pick continued to do his show in Philadelphia, and then went on to set up the first audio-visual division for the Office of Economic Opportunity. Nine years ago, Pick and his wife retired to Sun City, Arizona, 
where he swims a quarter of a mile a day, plays golf, and collects train memorabilia. After Hal went off the air, he worked in television sales at WTOP. Four years ago, he had to retire because of illness. Today, he's taking business courses and working with his family on their farm in Drainsville, Virginia. Children of today may have their Star Wars and electronic supermen, but kids growing up in Washington in the 1950s still have the memory of My favorite bread party I hope it's yours too My biggest memory of Pick Temple was uh, I went on a Monday and I played past the spinach, which was a big, sh which was one of his big games. And I was the first person to go out on past the spinach that week. It tastes so delicious, and it's so good for you. I carried a little silver pistol, and we got to shoot the pistols. So let's all eat Heidi, and before very long. My wife always watched the show, and every time I say Pink Temple to her, she says, oh, Pink Temple? All giant rangers will grow big and strong. We'll be right back. Stay with us.